seems there are certain voodoo priests who, who have the power to bring him back to life. How horrible. It's worse than horrible because it's... Women are involved in the film industry in all roles, including as film directors, actresses, cinematographers, film producers, film critics, and other film industry professions, though women have been underrepresented in creative positions. In this quick video I will reveal to you the full history and evolution of women in film. So ensure to watch to the end of this video. Also, kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are new here to help the channel grow. The evolution of women in film all started in March 31, 1914 when the movie, New Womanhood was made. The idea of more independent female characters began to enter the literary field. This New Womanhood film, featuring women who worked in wage labor and engaged in other seemingly unfeminine behavior helped set the tone for the rest of the century. Later on, August 3, 1927 was about the post-World War I women. After World War I, independent flapper figures became very popular. In the 1927 film, It, starring Clara Bow, the idea of a sexually liberated woman is explored, but Bow's character still has the traditional goal of marriage and children at heart. In October 24, 1929, during the Great Depression, in response to the economic depression, Women were used to create a fantasy dichotomy, starkly contrasting the harsh economic conditions in the real world with lavish female characters on the big screen. Greta Garbo pictured, was a popular actress during this time, as were Katharine Hepburn and Betty Davis. Strong female roles were very prevalent, but these characters were still largely focused on marriage and children as ultimate goals. Later on in September 1, 1939 this includes film in the 40s. Nearing the Second World War, women were shown as hard-working wives, securing the country for when their husbands and sons returned from war. Women were depicted as hard-working and strong, yet very feminine. During this time period, stars like Betty Grable caught the public's attention. Although she was fresh-faced and embodied the girl-next-door idea, she was still sexualized. August 3, 1944 brings in post-World War II women. Following the Second World War, Women were depicted as femme fatales, plotting the downfall of men with their sexualities. Any woman whose values did not coincide with the traditional family life was labeled as dangerous and volatile. In the 1950s, the film industry gave women two choices, becoming a sex symbol or becoming a domestic goddess. This dichotomy left little to no room for career-focused characters. Popular actresses during this time include Marilyn Monroe, Elizabeth Taylor, Ava Gardner, Jane Russell, and Jane Wyman. October 10, 1968 was about sexuality in the 60s. In the 1960s, society had adopted a more accepting attitude towards female sexuality in the film industry. In the 1968 film, Barbarella, Jane Fonda plays a sexualized agent sent to find a missing inventor in space. During the 1970s, in this decade, women were most often portrayed as independent women, detached from the domestic sphere. The film industry largely blamed the institution of marriage for women's oppression. In October 7, 1987, one step forward, two steps back came out. In the early 1980s, Reagan's reign of cultural conservatism served to revert the portrayal of women to traditional and domestic characters. In the 1987 film, Baby Boom, Diane Keaton plays a power-hungry businesswoman whose life gets flipped upside down by her inheritance of her late cousin's baby. In May 24, 1991 The Rise of the Chick Flick came out. The 1990s introduced a genre of film where women bonded and formed friendships over mutual hardships. These films were dubbed Chick Flicks. In the 1991 film, Thelma and Louise, two waitresses go on an adventure when Louise shoots and kills a man who tried to rape Thelma. This is a more dramatic example of a chick flick, but the two characters do bond over mutual hardship. July 3, 2007 shows a turning of the century. In the 2000s, box office hits have featured women in supporting roles of action heroes, often being hyper-sexualized to sell tickets. In 2007, the Transformers franchise focused on the young male's attraction to beautiful women and beautiful cars. I'm sure your kind would agree. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were making a threat. Well, do you? Do I what? Know better. What have you done? 
Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you will receive our videos immediately we upload. Thanks for watching.